I'm Michael Schern with Hudson County View, and on June 17th, I attended a news conference in Harrison, New Jersey, where West Hudson's three mayors and freeholder came out to support the re-election of Hudson County Executive Tom DeGeese. While there, I got to speak to Mr. DeGeese himself and former Jersey City Councilman Bill Gohan about the potential candidacy of freeholder Bill O'Day for County Exec and the perceived end of an era for Irish politicians from Hudson County. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, his experience uh, at uh, the freeholder level, uh, he's one of the senior members there. He knows government. He's a very bright guy. Uh, and uh, I just think that with the mayors, uh, as of today and last week, that are supporting the county executive, I think uh, Bill O'Day may choose to take another route. But he surely could do the job if, in fact, he had the proper support. Well, yeah, you know, anybody's a good, uh, formidable opponent. You know, uh, Bob Hernandez told me one time, there are two ways to run for office. One is hard and the other is unopposed. I would prefer unopposed, but, you know, I've run against, as I mentioned to you, Glenn Cunningham. I've run against Lou Manzo a couple of times. I've run against Jerry McCann in Jersey City. I've been in with some heavyweights. So uh, while I, yeah, I have all the respect in the world for uh, Freeholder of Day, he hasn't announced that he's running. I don't know that he's running, but if he were to choose to do it, you know, I'll, I'll be there. While both had nice things to say about Freeholder Bill O'Day, they shared differing opinions about the end of an era for Irish politicians in Hudson County. It's, it's, it's really interesting because being city council in Jersey City for 20 years, and now after I chose not to run, there is no longer any city council people on the city council that are of Irish background. So that now that Mr. Healy is gone, and now that Mr. Smith from Bayonne is no longer the mayor, uh, the Irish tradition is slipping quickly in Hudson County. And I'm disappointed about that. You know, when I was, a, I don't know exactly when, uh, I started off as a young Turk and then became this sage old veteran of uh, a lot of warfare. Uh, it happened somewhere down there, but nobody, it's not like graduation, they, they tell you when it happened. Uh, I think that Hudson County has always experienced this. When I was coming on to this, guys like Denny Collins and Bayonne, uh, uh, Bruce Walter in Union City, they were on their way out, you know, and uh, now it's just a, a, the natural progression of things to have a new generation coming up behind you. In fact, I've, I've always preached to all of the mayors and the political leadership in Hudson County that part of our responsibility as political and governmental leaders is to develop a bench. That you need to have young, talented people coming up behind us to fill those roles. And, you know, as Hudson County, it's the most diverse county in the state, as that changes with its ethnicities, with its languages, with its customs and everything, so will the political leadership. I told you I was the council president in Jersey City. I think I'm the longest running uh, council president. But right now you have a Filipino-American, Rolando Navarro, who is now the council uh, president there. So that kind of change is inevitable and it's welcome. I'm Michael Schoen with Hudson County View, the eye of the community.